A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 8th June. On the front page you have Kargil war veteran who was declared foreigner gets bail. So this was a Assam resident. He, uh, he has asked to initiate action against this ex official and now he has got bail here. Then below you have row over RB logo on Dhoni's gloves. So this is Gari Mahindran Singh Dhoni. His wicket keeping gloves have uh, uh, had an extra logo now. So this has come to the light and ICC, International Cricket Council has asked BCCI that Dhoni should remove that extra logo. Only two logos are allowed and no individual is allowed to have any individual uh, message or uh, object on the uh, insignia on their gloves. So this was a logo depicting a regimental dagger insignia of the Indian Paramilitary Special Forces. So you should know that Dhuni holds the rank of an honorary lieutenant colonel in the territorial army. So cricketers are given these honorary ranks. So, but the ICC says no. It, uh, any individual can. It is not permitted for any individual message or logo to be displayed on any item of clothing or equipment. Then on page 3 you have Delhi's health scheme 10 times bigger than Ayushman Bharat. So Delhi government has, uh, 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 Kejriwal has written to Harshwardhan after latter asked CMs of three states to join the scheme. So Ayushman Bharat scheme has not been joined by two states and Union Territory Delhi. So uh, the, a letter had been written by the Ministry of Health to these states but then you can see Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi Chief Minister, has responded saying that Delhi government's healthcare scheme is 10 times bigger and comprehensive than Ayushman Bharat. So, here you can see it's a centrally sponsored scheme. Ayushman Bharat aims to provide coverage of 5 lakh per family annually, supposedly benefiting more than 10.74 crore families, poor families, uh, for in relation to secondary and tertiary care hospitalization. So, there will be an empaneled healthcare provider who will provide these services. But then uh, Arvind Kejriwal, he says in his two-page response that uh, in spite of implementation of Ayushman Bharat in Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, lakhs of patients from these states come to Delhi for treatment. So, while the opposite is not true. So, Delhi's health scheme is functioning well. He says uh, those whose income are, is more than 10,000 do not come under Ayushman Bharat scheme, which means that those earning less than minimum wage notified by the government is out of this scheme. So that is why he says that the central government scheme is not sufficient and the, it, he says that under the Ayushman Bharat there were less than 10% beneficiaries in Delhi while under our government scheme every citizen constituting the capitalist population of 2 crore would be a beneficiary. And he says that while Ayushman Bharat provides 5 lakh under the AAP scheme, there was no such limit and there was and the government bears all expenses even if these amount to about 30 lakh. On the editorial page, the first editorial is itinerary symbolism. So this is regarding se second Modi government's strong message of neighborhood first as such, which has gone through uh, through his itinerary. So Prime Minister's first visit abroad is to Maldives and Sri Lanka, and S J Shankar, the Foreign Minister as such, his visit abroad as Foreign Minister to Bhutan. So this talks about foreign visits and relations with other na nations in the neighborhood. And this is unconscionable switch. So this is regarding how 12 Congress MLAs have defected to Telangana Rashtra Samiti. So this raises troubling questions is what this article talks about. The editorial. Then the lead article is the great Indian celebration. So this talks of the country's politics, how it has changed and the new analytical tools are required to understand it. So this is in context of elections only. And this is the spirit of 1989 from Tiananmen to Prague. So it says this is a reminder that where non-violence is practiced, democracy is honored. So you can see when violence is used in Tiananmen Square and you know it is the 30th anniversary of this Tiananmen Square protests where Chinese military used force against peaceful protesters. Here. So in that context you have this article on how democracy is honored only in places where non-violence is practiced and below it also it talks about how in east and west europe when non-violence was uh, campaigns went on in poland the 
non-violent transformation took place and authoritarian and semi-totalitarian regimes were uh, you know, transformed into liberal democracies. So that is in Prague in Europe. Then on Saturdays on the OPET page you have a ground zero coverage on a particular issue and this is the issue of uh, how street thugs have taken advantage of post-election Trumpism to stage attacks on minorities in parts of North India. So, stories of victims here from minority community are mentioned here on the issue of Gaurav Shak. You know, the targets, uh, minorities are targeted and violence spread across North India. On page 12, you have Mamta to skip Niti Ayog meeting. So, earlier there was space for states to talk. It is totally absent now with what Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee says. And she has decided to skip the Niti Ayog meeting where all chief ministers as such would be meeting and this is NPP first from northeast to get national party status so election commission has declared national people's party led by Meghalaya chief minister Conrad K Sangma as a national party now so the conditions for becoming a national party has been fulfilled by NPP these conditions you can see say are you can see are that it should be polling more than 6% of the total votes in the last general elections and it should be recognized as a state party in four, at least 4 states. So it has fulfilled both the criteria. NBP is recognized as state party in Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya and Nagaland. On page 13 you have policy moves all India entrance tests for undergraduate courses in public colleges. So, private institutions will be encouraged to use the common test according to this draft policy which has been unveiled. So, the draft national education policy, if approved, this is what is planned and all in the entrance test for government colleges, public colleges. So, details are given here. The national testing agency will be the one who will be conducting these tests. It was established in 2018. You should know this is an important fact. National testing agency is the one which conducts all in the entrance test meet as such thing. And below you have Al-Qaeda anoints new chief for India wing. So school dropout Hamid Lelhari will head the Ansar Ghazwatul Hind. So global terror outfit Al-Qaeda has announced a new chief for its India wing. So this is uh, an important news. So Burhan Wani, he was killed in encounter in 2016. Musa was also killed recently. So police suggest that this new chief Lelhari is around 30 year old who comes from poor background unlike Musa and is a resident of Pulwama's Lelhar area. On international page you have this coverage on Theresa May quits as the Prime Minister of UK so now her succession race begins. And here you have Russia US trade charges after ship comes close to collision. So navies blame each other for their maneuvers in East China Sea. So they are accusing each other of these dangerous maneuvers after their ships came close to collision in the East China Sea. On business page you have RBI revises stressed asset resolution norms. So after the Supreme Court struck down the controversial Feb 12, 2018 circular of RBI on stressed asset resolution, now RBI has revised its stressed asset regulation norms. And you should remember under this Feb 12 notification of 2018, RBI said that even one day's delay would be considered would make the asset a stressed asset. So and it had scrapped all other forms of resolution of stressed assets except the IBC insolvency and bankruptcy court procedure. So now RBI has introduced review period of 30 days to recognize defaults. So changes are mentioned here. And this is SEBI MCA signed pact for more data security. So the Security and Exchange Board of India and Ministry of Corporate Affairs have signed an MOU to facilitate seamless sharing of data and information for carrying out scrutiny, inspection, investigation and prosecution. And below you have DHFL repays over 350 crore to investors. So, mortgage lender Devan Housing Finance Corporation Limited has paid over 350 crores to different lenders including 100 crore to investors of commercial papers. So, it was due for replace, uh, repayment on Friday but it has been delayed and now it has been repaid. And on the last page you have space station will open to tourists from next year. So, NASA has announced that it will op open up the International Space Station to business ventures including space tourism which stays priced at 35,000 a night. 
it will be it seeks to financially disengage from the orbiting research lab now so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you